Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Pam, and I have a box opening today of a Reborn replica doll, an Amazon Reborn, but it's a replica of an authentic sculpt. I don't have this sculpt, but I want to paint it eventually, but it's a bit expensive. Um, I calculated what it would cost because I would want to give the doll uh, the best hair and uh, that would be a lot of money, so I'm going to wait for a while. I want to give her uh, HP Baby Locks hair. So, um, I wanted to get another... I already have this doll in a replica. So, I wanted to get another one to make a twin, even though they have different color and uh, different color hair. So... Here I am getting her, got her, I've got her out of the box. Now she's in her bag. It says Doll Reborn. So you know it's an Amazon Reborn then. <laughs> or perhaps AliExpress or another, yeah. Um, I keep these bags because they could be useful. I have a couple of them. Okay, let's get the bag opened and then look at the feet. Oh, here's her accessories. A diaper, a bottle, and a pacifier. Here's her feet. She's wearing a pink outfit. Dusty pink. So she's made by a company called Terabithia. I've bought many of their dolls and they're good. It's Maddie. So this doll has short brown hair, brown eyes, and her face looks fine. The last Maddie I bought, her face was squashed in. She has long curly, um, medium blonde hair the other Maddie and I had to fix her face so I stuffed it with somebody suggested this I didn't even think of it even though I fixed other dolls this way their legs when they were dented in but somebody one of my um, viewers commented and said why don't you stuff it her face they said they fix their doll that way so I was like wow why didn't I think of that so I put stuffing in her head and it fixed the dent in her face. So this doll has a little bit of a glare on her eye. I was just trying to see if there was something stuck in there. And then her eyelashes are cro were a bit crooked, but that's no big deal. I trim the eyelashes in the corner to make the, the eyes look more realistic. Um, I don't pull them all out. No, I don't pull them all out. I just trim them. And you can do that too by just taking some small scissors and in the front corner, um, inside corner no closest to the nose, uh, just trim them in a curve like human eyelashes go. So I'm going to comb her hair. Um, I like the idea of, of this doll having short hair. It's easy to to manage where the other doll has long. I don't really like dolls with too much long hair. Um, I'm not one to play with their hair too much. I just like combing it out and that's it. So the other doll, I thought it would, I initially thought it would be fun to have dolls with long hair, but then I noticed that I don't do anything with their hair. It drives me kind of bananas. Um, I don't know, maybe if I had a doll with human long hair, a toddler doll, it would be different. Or with um, adult mohair, HP baby locks. I thought of doing that, but um, really, really long hair. I think it has to be human hair. So here we go. Here's the other Maddie with the new Maddie. And you can see she has curly hair, but I've maintained the curl with product, with essential oils and water because 
If you don't, it'll get frizzy. So see her eyelashes? They're all one length, and that's not, that's not natural. That's not how her eyelashes go. Here's her hand. I'm going to show you her details. So she was painted by a machine, obviously. Some of the creasing missed where the crease was by a little bit. She has modeling, veining. She's stuffed, um, but not with it. She doesn't have glass beads or any kind of beads because she doesn't have the weight. So um, that would be good for a child because it wouldn't. She wouldn't be too heavy. I mean, a child doesn't need a, a weighted doll. She's plenty, plenty heavy enough for a child. But for an adult, you might want to take her apart and weight her. Put some more, uh, take out some stuffing and put some glass beads in there and a stocking, nylon stocking. So we can see more uh, modeling and veining here. Nice eyebrows. Here's the back of her head. Here she is again with uh, my other Maddie. Her name is Eliana, and I haven't named my new Maddie yet. But they're very cute dolls, and um, like I say, I make my own reborns, my own authentic reborns, but I still think these are beautiful, sweet dolls to have. They're well done. I mean, look at them. They're absolutely adorable. So cute. So cute. Just need to trim those eyelashes. Like, see, I trimmed uh, Maddie, the first Maddie. Her eyelashes are trimmed. And she looks a lot more realistic. Yeah. So I highly recommend doing that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.